Okay, so about three weeks ago, I adopted two puppies, and they were Great Danes. And as the weeks go on, I'm still trying to properly figure out how to take care of them. So today I'd like to, since their breed is so uncommon, it's hard to just Google what is best for them, such as the amount of sleep, food, and exercise needed. Their mother is a Great Dane and their father is a Boxer, which their breed does have a name for it, called Boxane. And so today I'd like to inform you on important aspects of a Great Dane. And since there's so much to know about them, I would like to narrow it down to three topics. History and origin, the life of a Great Dane puppy, and the life of a Great Dane adult. So starting with my first point, Great Danes were, are believed to have originated from Germany. They have found that they are part Irish wolfhound and Old English Mastiff. And um, the French translation for it is Great Danos, but they have not found any reason why it's originated from Denmark. So um, according to Easy Pet MD, it was German fanciers who led the world in the most finest of specimens. For 400 years, Great Danes have been around, and they have been known to be the largest, the elegant, distinguished of a large breed. And the Germans actually used to use them for hunting dogs. They used to hunt down bears and boars, but this was a lot more realistic in the early years of Great Danes' existence because they were so aggressive and powerful. And they found that Great Danes weren't really friendly with humans, so the Germans didn't think that was okay. So they changed, they rebred them to become more friendly with humans. And in the 18... In 1887 is when Great Danes actually became known as a purebred breed. In the 16th century, it was the Great Dane was a common dog for most Germans, as they used them as boarhounds. They would just go hunt down boars. And then, since the Germans found trouble with it, them not being friendly to humans, in the 18th and 19th century, they rebred them. And then they tried to use them in civil war to fight with them, but they were already friend retrained to be friendly with humans, so they didn't last long in the civil war. And they actually became more guard dogs, and that's what the common Great Dane, the modern common Great Dane, is now. Okay. On to my second point, these are my puppies when I first got them about three weeks ago. Off to the right and on to the left is a picture of them now just three weeks later. You probably will see a slight difference because they do grow really fast. They have gained about 10 pounds since I've got them. And according to the Leaf Group LTD, two month old puppies should be fed two to four cups a day and then a cup each month that they get older until they are seven months old then just keep them at a steady seven to ten cups a day. Overfeeding a Great Dane can lead to really bad joint problems because they are already growing so fast it is important not to overfeed them and make them try and grow faster. These joint problems can lead to problems for the rest of their life. Great Danes puppies love to be busy. They love playing with humans, and they love just playing in general. So, here's a video if it works. We don't need to. No. Okay. No. Um, Great Danes are actually known for no they cannot be left alone for a long time. So. Not coming home and seeing them every day can actually give them anxiety, and they could actually die from anxiety because they love to be around humans. 
But with all this play that only lasts about 20 to 30 minutes, they like to nap a lot. My puppies nap like 10 times a day for like a half hour each time. And that's when they're the nicest. <laughs> but they also need to be potty trained and I found that routine is super big. Routine, taking them out at least 30, every 30 minutes can I train them to be good. I mean, my puppies are almost trained already. And moving on to the third point, the life of an adult Great Dane. According to Pet Street, Great Dane adults grow up to be 28 to 32 inches long, standing on all four, weighing 110 to 190 pounds. Standing on their hind legs, they can grow, they grow to be 40 inches long, which is 7 feet. And most Great Danes tower over their owners. They don't stop growing until they're 2 to 3 years old. And they, it's important to feed them seven to ten cups a day because they're such big dogs. It, you need to take them out on walks. It's important to take them on walks. And they need their exercise so they don't get hip problems because large breed dogs are known to get hip problems and that can really affect their life. So they need to be fed to regain their nutrients. These large dogs are known as gentle giants, and they just want love and attention from their humans and their owners, and they just need to know that they can trust them. So a recap of today, we talked about the history and origin, the Great Dane as life as a puppy, and the Great Dane life as an adult. And that's all.